and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden 20. Now, guys, we're in that state of borderline Madden Limbo. Not entirely. You guys should know that term by now on this channel. I wouldn't say entirely Madden Limbo because real Madden Limbo is like the first week of December before the Zero Chill promo, but right after the Thanksgiving promo when there's no promo at all. We have the playoffs, but the playoffs is actually like a little filler in between. I don't think it's not really that big of a promo. All the bulk of the contests come out already. The only thing left that we could still really get is more than likely just the playoff LTDs, which they haven't dropped yet, which is kind of surprising. I assume we would have gotten one by now. Typically, we get one per round. It's like wildcard LTD, maybe like Derrick Henry, divisional round LTD. Now, based off real life, I believe it's usually based off real life, although sometimes it could just be player playoff LTDs from other years. So I know like last year we got one from Vernon Davis from like a few years ago. So it depends. I really don't know how they're going to do it this year. I prefer they do... I mean, real-life playoff LTDs would be a little bit cooler, but older ones from years ago, that's fine too. But guys, before we get into this video, if you're into the channel, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this, we hit 17K as well, as I said in the other video. I'm assuming you guys went strong in the 1030 video, so hopefully we hit it already. Thank you guys for that. Also, make sure to run up that like button, can we get 350 likes on this video, as well as Noti Gang. Make sure you let me know you're here early. Always appreciate you guys who pop out every day. And comment down below, <coughs> excuse me what you guys think of this and if you guys need any help or advice comment down below any questions down below now guys get into the video <clears throat> so going into team of the year we got team of the year coming in the near like a week we got team of the year like in the next seven days now like i said recommended coin stack in my opinion for that is going to be about a million coins uh, maybe more because here's the math on this right the top playoff players go for 300k right now team of the year is going to blow them away i think team of the year cards usually started around 400k for the low ones because like i think the overall range this year might be like 95 96 97 it's gonna be the, the bulk of the players now last year they went up to 98 but last year the overalls were always a bit higher this year overalls are a bit lower i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so let's say we go over to 95 to 90 or 96 97 filter last year at this exact time in his end point we had 97 overall players they were willie mcginnis and steve smith playoff 97s this year our playoff ones were only 96s so we're kind of one overall behind in pace from last year which is good because it means the game will last a bit longer but for the most part that also means that team of the year might only go up to 97s which is more than fine because by ratio will still average out the same way as it did last year compared to other players so the 97s last year were 800k 98s last year i mean were 800k but you have to remember also last year was a much more expensive game this year the prices have not gone as high as it did last year so I imagine 97 this year are probably like 600k, like 650. 650, 700k, probably in that range. Which means that to get one of those cards, you need at least 650, 700k. So let's say you want both of the 97s, if they do two of them like last year, you want both, you're going to need about 1.4 million coins. So you're going to need a little over a million coins, in my opinion, just to get the good ones. And let's say you want just the decent ones, like the 95, 96s, those will probably cost about 400k each. So still you're going to need a million coins for three of them, or you're going to need 400k for one, or 800k for two. You know, you're going to have to really play the play the math here. And I only think the market can crash. So that's why, in my opinion, I recommend selling right now. Like, obviously, the prices aren't great. But there's no way they're going to really come back up at this point. There's, like, nothing nothing between now and team of the year is going to bring them up. There's not really much. I mean, for the most part, guys, I think you're better off just going ahead and selling what you got. Because I really don't think that there's much left. So I got I to gotta personally go through my binder and sell a lot of stuff. I mean, as far as my team, a lot of them is Nats. I really can't sell too much. Maybe I'll sell off Vic at some point because I know that the new Lamar is coming pretty soon. And I definitely want that Lamar. But not much stuff here. Like, all these lower cards are 87s, 87s. I got to start selling all this stuff while they still have some value because these cards will only keep losing value every day that I wait on these cards. Now, I don't think that using your coins now is a great idea. I really don't think the playoff promo is all that great. I don't think the uh, the playoff heroes are all that great. I don't think you waste your coins on them. Champ Bailey, Terrell Owens are maybe the only guys I could really recommend that you actually do that on. Now, by the way, I do have this quick sell still, and I can't officially sell this. 49ers quick sell, thank you so much. Madden, forgive me this. I did trash talk you guys when you first gave me this, but I love you guys now for that. 20,000 training, that is huge. Thank you, Madden. I love you guys. But back to what I was saying. Team of the Year is expensive, and to make it worse, right after Team of the Year Super Bowl, and then right after that is the NFL Honors. So let's say, I'm going to bring up the calculator. If you guys want a player from each of the promos, let's say you want 197 and like 195. 
That's going to be about a million coins, give or take. A million coins. Then you want to get one of these Super Bowl players. Probably another 450k. Let's add that up. And you also want one of the NFL honors, like the MVP Lamar Jackson. Another 700k. You're looking at about 2.1 million coins needed to get one card for the next three promos. Now, if you want to... So, don't... Please do not cash out. This is what happens. If you cash out in every promo, this is what it's going to cost you. This is what's going to cost you and loss of coins. So, let's say in the team that you buy like five players. It's about going to be probably like 2.2 2 point, 2 .2 million coins. Then, Super Bowl, you get like three players. You're at 3 million coins. Then... NFL honors, you get two players, you're at like 4.2 million coins. If you just wait and pick one from each, like I just said, you will be able to spend half the price and get all the players you want. Do not be the guy when team of the year comes out is like, oh, I want him and him and him. Obviously, like this is a mistake people make. Obviously, these cards look amazing because they just came out. They're the best cards yet. But remember, so much more stuff's coming out. And the only thing good thing about team of the year is team of the year does introduce end game cards. I'll give you that. That's important. That's an important thing as a Madden player for me. Like, a no money spent. Like, for most no money spent guys, not that I'm, no, I'm not fully no money spent anymore, but for the most part, that's what I love about certain promos that some of them introduce endgame cards. And endgame cards mean you can spend whatever amount of coins you want on them because you're going to have them all year. You're not going to lose coins on them. Let's go to NFL playoffs. So, I said NFL playoff cards are not endgame. Just to let you guys know, like, at the come end game of the year, Tremaine Edmonds, Drew Brees, all these guys will not be on your team come the end of the game. Unless you're a theme team, like these guys are not good enough to be end game. They will not get enough upgrades to be end game. Now, are these guys end game? Champ Bailey is end game. Like Champ Bailey's a guy that you can get power up all the way, chem up, and you probably will get an ultimate legend too. Champ Bailey's a guy that you can just pick up because he will be end game. Deion Sanders is end game. Lawrence Taylor is end game. Those are guys I don't mind spending coins on because they're end game. Now, what I mean by end game here is that this. Let's say you pick up a whole playoff team, right, and you, you power them up. When Team of the Year, NFL Honors, everything comes out, they're going to suck. You're going to have to sell them all. You're going to lose half the, half the coins you spent. So the beauty of Team of the Year is that Team of the Year introduces some 97s and 96s. So if you power up and come up 97s all the way, you can get them to 99 overall. So that does mean that those players are angling because they're 99 overalls on your team. The goal of the game is to get them to 99 overall, and they're going to be that. As well as, in my opinion, if you pick up any players from Super Bowl, NFL Honors, or Team of the Year, you could probably have them for the rest of the year. Like If you go back to my old Madden 19 team, I have some Team of the Year players still. I had some NFL honor players still. Now, the real end game cards, like you typically end game are like Ultimate Legends. Now, Ultimate Legends are always gonna be the best cards, probably. They're gonna be one of the best cards. But the point here is for no money spent, guys, you can get away with buying cheaper team of the years after it comes out and powering them up and getting them close to 99s and competing as a no money spent guy. Because your cards only cap at 99. I mean, you can only get the stats so high. So I'm telling you guys know that team of the year is why it's one of my favorite promos, is because you can effectively spend a few million coins there. And I mean, that's why I say pick one of each. If you get one team of the year player, one Super Bowl player, and one NFL Honors player, you can power up and come up all three of them. Like Lamar will be end game. The team of the year, Tyreek Hill, let's say you get, will probably be close to end game. Although he's not going to be, I don't, I don't like having Tyreek end game because once everyone's 99 speed, he's kind of just like not the greatest catcher and he's kind of uh, tiny. But let's just say you end up with those three things like a, a Tyreek, a, a whatever Super Bowl player comes out, Super Bowl MVP card you end up getting that's 99 overall, and then you get Lamar Jackson. You can have all three of those guys for the rest of Madden. That's beautiful. Because you don't got to keep spending coins on that position. That's it. You can lock in that position. You can change it if you feel free to. If you, if you want to, feel free to. But in terms of being coin efficient, that's definitely one of the better things you guys can do. Now, Michael Vick, he is technically endgame because there will be another Michael Vick that's awesome. I think I, I'm not, I'd i rather have the Lamar Jackson because I think the Lamar Jackson would be better right now. And it'll probably be closer. Him, him and Michael Vick are both going to go neck and neck for endgame. That, that's just end of discussion there. That's going to that's gonna be it. Him and Michael Vick are going to be endgame. Now you can pick which one you want. I think I'm going to end up going with Lamar because I've personally been rocking with Lamar most of the year. Although this Vic does feel pretty insane. The next Lamar should feel just as great. And, I mean, that's just me. But I'm telling you guys, looking for endgame. This is the point of the year we want to look for endgame cards to be coin efficient. Because nothing's worse than buying five Team of the Year players, selling them. Buying five Super Bowl players, selling them. Buying five NFL Honor players, selling them. You're going to lose so much in reduction. Start This is when you got to start picking your cards. Like Champ Bailey for me, I think it's endgame. So I'm going to pick him up when he goes down a little bit. Add him to the squad and call it a day. Him and Dion lock up corners for the rest of the year. Done. Same thing with Lamar. Gonna get my MVP Lamar. Done. Super Bowl MVP. Hopefully he's not a quarterback. We'll toss him in, power him up. Done. Those are I'm gonna start locking in position so that I can start stop focusing so much on getting coins and stuff. And I can start enjoying the game a little bit more and have my end game team to rock with. That's kind of the point of what I'm trying to do here. Although it won't be as fun in the later stages to actually play with that team as much as it would have been early in the year when things were a little bit more different and more uh more varied. But it's still gonna be great. Cause I am gonna be playing this game to the, the very last day this game dies off for the new Madden, because that is kind of my job. So I got to start locking my team now so I can start enjoying the little things a little bit more. But guys, that's about it for this video. I hope that advice helped you guys out. Hope this sets you guys up for Team of the Year. 
Hope you guys are ready for all that because we are getting into the later stages of Madden where things start changing rapidly and quickly. Like early in the year, content was like, like slow. Now it's like all over the place. It's just, it's gonna be quick hitters. They're gonna be dropping a bunch of stuff because they're getting to that point where they can. They're not gonna mess up the uh, overall algorithm of the game with how they drop things for certain in the year. But that's about it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bub boys. Thank you so much for 17K. Comment down below any questions you might have. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. And make sure to like this video. Can we get 350 likes in this video? If you made it this long, like the video. And comment down below. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.